It's that Z, too low, no, she my flow Yeah, 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 yeah Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video it's gonna be 202 Xbox and uh, that's gonna be like BTE by the way thank you so much for uh, you know sharing this uh, wonderful video to all of us okay so uh, BTE or Box Rocks Engineer is actually a uh, member of my channel alright so a quick shout out to you man and thank you again for your support and uh, for this video for me to do commentary on now before we start, please do give this video a like or a thumbs up. Also subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to all notifications so that you won't miss an upload or stream from my channel. So in today's video, it's going to be 202 Xbox versus Dan2886. Now uh, let's see what will happen here, okay? Okay, so battle starts. Map of choice will be the Long Crusade, okay? So uh, BTE starts off with an emergency measure boost and uh, barracks of course two barracks gold scouting of course to get those containers nothing weird so far of course they're just collecting containers at the start okay nicely done and he's actually collecting containers nice and neatly wow it's actually uh, good upgrading HQ too <coughs> excuse me Okay, getting the container in the middle of the map. That's uh, quite nice. Okay. Wow, he almost got all containers. If not, uh, like 60 to 70% of all containers combined on this map. That's actually nice. Okay, now switch to uh, red scouting boost after the uh, gold scouting boost expired. Okay. Uh, Dan actually is uh, just upgrading to level 2 HQ. Meanwhile, BTE or Box Rocks or 202 Xbox is going for an additional power plant to supply centers and are and are now heading towards level 3 HQ. Now, there's this assault that arrived at his base. So that's uh, like a 6 assault. Okay. Hence, using an infantry gold uh, attack boost to, of course, help get rid of it. Meanwhile, a coyote is being produced at that vehicle factory. Okay. So let's see how this uh, plays out. Okay. Okay, so um, nothing crazy so far. Uh, 202 Xbox is uh, hiding some infantry across the map. Okay, now this is very, uh, you know, I would highly recommend that you guys do this so in case the enemy has Avia, you will detect them. And of course, if the enemy, uh, you know, decides to march uh, an army, you will actually see it and you can react on time, get into a position to defend. Or just flank the enemy from behind so that's actually it okay there's like one that one assault okay uh, now under attack you say blue attack boost to get rid of that one assault okay now that one assault uh, there's actually two assaults right there and there's like a an infantry at the bottom right a left hand corner of the map okay going level 3 HQ and I believe that that will there will be Jaguars added into the mix Okay, another, let's see what that is. Okay, a construction yard will be placed right there to, of course, uh, expand the base from uh, the top right-hand corner. Okay, now will he go for Avia or a chameleon, Jaguar chameleon? Okay, so, yeah, that's actually a big question right there. And, oh, wow. Okay, so that's a very good scout right there. That's some nice use of infantry. Okay. Using a blue scouting boost to, of course, enhance the view of that one rifleman. And that one rifleman is actually a ninja scouting and then going back. Okay, oh, nice scout denial right there with that five rifleman getting rid of that assault that is trying to scout. Okay, airfield are going to be added into the mix as well as, as an avia factory. Okay. So, oh, there's like that one cyclone, I believe, or fortress. Okay, that's a fortress, okay. So, oh man. <laughs> okay, so technically, 202 Xbox is definitely ahead in terms of base development. Now, he's actually going for a Jaguar uh, Hawk Army Composition. Okay, there's there goes that one Hawk right there trying to fish out some Assault Scouts. Okay, so still some uh, Scouts. Uh, I mean, that Rifleman has been uh, relocated to that location. 
Okay, Hawks actually moved out and saw that there's like a ton of fortress right here. Okay, uh, damaging the fortress would be nice. Okay, however, the, ver the uh, Hawks ran out of fuel. And uh, let's see, Fort Hawk are now going to, uh, are just going to pop out. Okay, that's actually quite cool. Uh, let's see here. Okay, again, the Hawks are going to move out. Let's see if they can fish out some damage. Okay, by the way, the, the Hawk control was nice. It was on point. Okay. All right. Ooh, nice. Okay. And that uh, anti-air finishes. Second anti-air is about done. Okay, still uh, the Hawks are targeting or focus firing on those uh, hordes of fortress right there. And now, just now change the target to that one anti-air. Okay, let's see if he can get a pick off. Okay, the two Hawks are still there. However, the two Hawks run out of fuel. Okay, two Hawks are still doing some damage. Okay, so anti-air is being built. Now, let's see what's going on here. He has like a seven Jaguars about to turn eight Jaguars now. And I think it's about time for him to upgrade level 4 HQ since he has the resources for it. Okay. And the uh, Hawks are now going to be uh, moving out again. Let's see if this Hawk can deal some damage real quick. Okay. One Hawk forward. Okay. Scatter the Hawk. One Hawk uh, comes in first. Get in, gets in range of those uh, anti-air. Oh, that Hawk is low in HP. Okay. Decided to uh, go back. Of course. To not lose um, resources for those Hawk. And uh, let's see. Okay. HQ4 is now upgraded. Well, Dan is still playing or under the tech of Fortress. I'm not entirely sure what's the use of those Fortress. Okay. Uh, Dan might be thinking that he has a lot of infantry to do to the riflemen that he saw on each entrances. Okay. So technically, that's what happens if you deny scouting. Okay. There's this one coyote that actually moved out and saw those uh, Fortress. No, those fortress actually uh, was lured out by that one coyote and are now out of range of those anti-air. Hence, this hawk, I believe, will now go on ahead and fire at those fortress which are out of range of those anti-air. What a nice, uh, that's actually very, very smart. Okay, oh man. Oh, that was close. Okay, so this one coyote right here is gonna, you know, gonna end up dead due to the lag. Okay, because uh, 202 Xbox was lagging at this point in time. Okay, second Avia Factory is uh, on the way. Second Airfield as well. He has uh, five Hawks. The sixth Hawk are now in production. Now, let's see what this uh, what happens here. Special Vehicle Factory. Oh, I believe Chameleon will be added into the mix. Oh, that's, that's going to be cool. All right, so that one uh, Rifleman sacrificed his life. <laughs> okay. To free up command points all right so again the hawks are like uh going to fish out some units that are outside the range or outside the base of dan so nothing crazy so far so 202 xbox can like uh go hq5 oh man he is actually ahead in terms of base development he has uh he is going to have hq5 in just a in just a minute or so okay and so, oh, that's a, a lot of anti-air right there. Avia Factory has been revealed, but it's still level 1. Okay, so nothing crazy so far that's been going on at the enemy base. Okay. Uh, again, another Hawk will be produced to somehow replace the Hawk that has been destroyed. Another airfield. Wow, this actually, uh, is he going to mess Avia at this point in time? Okay, now technically the uh, Dan, or the enemy does have a lot of anti-air composing of you know anti-air towers and typhoons which are of course effective against hawks okay let's see how this plays out and now if you notice uh, the minimap there's like a lot of scouts uh, spread out across the map that are hidden in the uh, forest which are actually nice first chameleon is out as well okay now let's see how this plays out uh, hawks are now going to move out again Okay. Oh, that's a nice concave right there. Okay. Ooh. Oh, what a poor soul. That one soul right there <laughs> took the brunt of all hawks the 202 Xbox has. 
Oh, what a nice uh, pickup right there. However, the lag actually kicked in here. Hence, those Hawks, uh, you know, just went straight to the anti-air uh, barrage right there. Lost a few Hawks. Okay, not all Hawks, just a few Hawks. Now, let's see how this goes or how many Hawks got destroyed. Okay, still he has like five riflemen apiece on each separate entrances. And now those riflemen are heading in. We're actually going to move out along with the army. He has 10 Hawks at the moment. Okay, and like 1,400 resources banked up. Wow. Okay, again, Hawks are going to move out. Going to fish out some units before, of course, those main detachment on the ground go in for the kill. Okay, so there will be less resistance on the ground. Okay. Oh, again, that one assault being a very poor soul. And that Hawk Micro, though, was actually very, very good. Okay, here it goes. And bam. Oh, wow. That's actually very rare that those Hawks uh, was able to fly away before the anti-air could react. That's actually very rare, even for me. That's a actually good Hawk Control mi or Hawk, Hawk Micro right there. Not losing any Hawks, but managed to pick up Assault or, uh, yeah, Assault and Fortresses. That's actually kind of nice. The, the units are actually placed on hide mode. Let's see how this goes. Those uh, army that uh, 202 Xbox has are actually getting into a position where they can attack from the high ground. Okay. Oh, Thors are going to be here. Okay. And now those Hawks are going to rejoice. Uh, did not uh, manage to destroy that vehicle factory from 202 Xbox. Hence, those Hawks actually rain carnage on those Thors. Now, again, a lag kicked in here. The lag kicked in. Okay, hope. Uh, fortunately, there's only uh, fortresses right here. Dan might be expecting a lot of infantry from 202 Xbox due to lack of scouting. Hence, he prepared a lot of fortresses which are not effective against Jaguars. Okay, so again, scouting is very essential, and that one hawk or that one Thor bombing run was good. However, it's not enough to deal that many. Uh, you know, like a damage that can actually wipe out this entire army okay again the hawks are going to uh move out and attack let's see how this plays out okay some anti-air are placed right here now you have to give it to uh dan for a good anti-air spread right there to cover the entire base okay again the uh jaguar and chameleon right there is actually uh doing massive damage onto dan's base i believe that this is going to be the beginning of the end of this battle and then 202 Xbox was just showing off that Hawk Micro right there. Imagine, uh, you know, like a Hawk that can actually fire before the anti-air can react. Was, you know, was actually one of the best Micros I've seen so far in the game. And it is possible, however, it's super hard to do. Even with no latency. Okay, now those uh, Jaguars are focused firing on the uh, HQ. Some of the Jaguars that are out of range are targeting the anti-air and got this destroyed it and one heavy assault is not going to cut it versus this many uh, units namely jaguars and a rifleman and a chameleon so technically one chameleon is all he needed since this uh player right here opted out for thors which are not really effective if you don't have enough experience to bomb effectively or to of course um you know like um what do you call this like <clears throat> uh ah man it's it's right under the edge of my tongue oh man that's so annoying okay so yep if you don't have to experience to predict there it goes to predict where the army is headed into hence a 202 xbox for the win all right that's actually a nice battle right there and again 202 xbox or bte thank you so much for this wonderful video really appreciate it that hawk micro was actually good Dude, that lag was so imba. Now, of course, the lesson here, guys, was to always, always scout and, of course, deny the scout coming from your opponent. Because, of course, if they made the wrong army composition against uh, what you're going for, you're going to have a very, very, you know, very, very big advantage. All right. So, if you'd like the video, please do give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to all notifications so that you won't miss an upload or stream on my channel. And again, 
Thanks for watching, have a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye now.